Welcome to another on Enter Flash tutorial. In this amazing tutorial, um, it is so amazing. Um, we're going to learn about a specific tool, and that tool is the Lasso tool. This tool is so awesome. And many of you may be thinking, what do you mean this tool is awesome? You're nuts. It's the Lasso tool. You can, uh, if you click on it or press the shortcut L, all you can do is make uh, lassos. Right now I'm going to press R, go to the rectangle tool, go back to L for the good old lasso tool and make a lasso. Now I just selected the inside of this and I can delete it by pressing the delete key or you know just select the whole thing and delete it. Now many of you aren't amazed. You're saying okay that's nothing special. It's good to know that it's there. Well, hold your horses for a second, their partner. I don't want to have to Chris Brown you. <laughs> there are other um, aspects to this tool. And they're here at the bottom where you see the magic wand tool. Now, if you're familiar with Photoshop, then you understand what this magic tool or magic wand is, which it is a magical tool in a sense. And also below it, there's the magic wand options, which we have the threshold threshold dun, dun, dun. and they also have a smoothing factor which is they have normal pixels rough normal smooth there you go so yes and also we have polygon mode polygon mode what is this fancy schmancy polygon mode well it makes polygons straight edges so your lasso becomes more of a how shall I say polygon Okay, but there's a problem with this awesome polygon tool that I've discovered. I don't know if it's uh, wrong with yours, but what I've discovered is that the polygon tool, for some reason, when you try to close it, it doesn't close. So, how do we fix this? Well, once we've created our polygon shape, we can just press V for the selection tool. V, okay. I'm going to show you right now by drawing a rectangle on stage, then going to... L for the lasso tool and I have it on polygon mode and I'm gonna make a square right here now when I get to the closing it doesn't want to work but if I press V it cancels it out but it does keep the selection so if you're ever wondering why why doesn't my polygon selection thingy or polygon lasso ever select correctly well that's why so now you know. Now you're dangerous. All right then. Um, you may not. You may say to yourself, "Oh, that's great and all, but is there more to this lasso tool? Is it worth making a whole tutorial about?" Well, the answer is yes. And if you keep on asking me questions, I'm gonna get angry, and you're not gonna like when I get angry. Or yeah, or not. Um, what I'm going to do is import to stage. So you can go to File, Import, Import to Stage. And what I'm going to import is a bitmap. That's right, a bitmap, not a vector. All right. Let me thumbnail view. I'm going to pick this. There we go. Uh, no. All righty then. Now let's look at this. Cool logo. Um but it's a bitmap so that means that it's not a vector and I can't edit it in any way but I'll tell you about this with images you're able to break them apart so they will act like vectors with vector skin if you ever seen the previous tutorial when we colored um, a vector with a bitmap it's gonna be basically the same thing so let's break it down real quick we're going to select our image and now we're going to move up to the modify menu and in bitmap we're going to do uh, no 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 excuse me let's backtrack we're going to go up one and we're going to do break apart pardon me you know I, I'm known for my false alarms I get people a little excited like oh my gosh we're going to do that and I yeah anyway now you can see that it looks like a vector but and you even get those uh, those vector options with your selection tool, you know, moving it around. Um, you can even select pieces of it. But anyway, that's for a different tutorial. 
Right now, we're working with the lasso tool because the lasso tool is so sexy. I think I'm going to lasso you tonight or not. All right. Now with the lasso tool, let's go to the magic wand. Oops. No. Press the good old L key or select it. And now with magic wand, the magic wand, we can go to a bitmap and select a specific area for your um, bitmap. So now I'm selecting a portion of it. Flash is actually reading and looking at it and making a distinction between the solid colors inside of here. So now it's looking at it like, oh, this is blue, so I can separate that. So that's kind of cool that you can actually do some image work inside of, uh, or you can work with images inside of uh, Flash. I still got it on Polygon tool. All right. So there you go. You can select certain portions of it. And let me go to the uh, options here real quick. Now these options, I'm not totally sure what they're for, but I explain to you as if this was Photoshop. They have the threshold, and what I believe threshold is, is, um, what's the word? I can't say it. Illuminance, which means that it, this is where, this number represents the shades. And if I'm wrong, please, someone correct me. Uh, where This represents the shades. So whatever color I click on, and that's contiguous, meaning um, the bitmaps, the, the bits or the pixels are touching each other, is going to group anything 10 shades lighter and 10 shades darker than itself. So in layman's terms, this number represents how light and how dark you want to select items. And right now I have it on normal, but if I did on pixel, I probably would get a better result in selecting inside here. See? See, let's compare the two. One is really smooth. You see, like, total, a great selection going on here. And you can kind of see it wasn't so great, so hot. You can see uh, a lot of remnants left. But that's okay. So, you know, just try everything out. The selection tool is very powerful. So you can uh, do a few fancy things. You can think of bringing in a simple bitmaps and um, turning them into vectors. So now, with me, so I have, like, right now I have this selected. Maybe I'm feeling like a color change, so I'm going to change that. Look at that. Now, you can see it's still not exactly perfect. You know, give it a break. It's pixels. But, hey, that's kind of cool. And I want you to keep that in mind if you are doing um, animation that uses, like, uh, I've seen it before where uh, Flash animators use uh, Mario, Luigi, and all that stuff. So if you want to use Mario and Luigi, and they are on a white background, you can use this magic wand to remove them or extract them from that background and turn them into vectors inside of Flash. So some information, some really useful uh, information on the lasso tool. Don't, don't, don't sleep on this tool. It's powerful. It can lasso things. It's not the lasso of truth, but it's the lasso of lassoing things. So you better watch your mouth. All right, thanks for watching this on Enter Flash tutorial. If you like this tutorial, please, uh, um, what do you call that thing? Subscribe, rate, comment, and if you would be so kind to go on my website, onenterflash.blogspot.com, and um, click on an ad to put a few pennies in my pocket. I'd like, I like coffee, so put some pennies in my pocket so I can buy some coffee. All right? You know, it's an economic crisis. Help a flash animator out. Alright, thanks for watching on Enter Flash.